Huge story today that not too many people talked about on telly, and I don't know why. A person that is a banned donor in Australia, a Chinese donor that's banned from donating in Australia, well, guess what he did? He paid for the now Labor leader in New South Wales, Chris Minns, to go on a fully funded trip to China. It was when he was not the leader of the Labor Party. But here's the deal. As the Telegraph's editorial put it today, the problem here isn't just that it was paid for, but that it also wasn't declared. At state and federal level, Labor has a China problem. This is due to the widespread perception that Labor is simply too close to comfort for China, particularly the Chinese communist dictatorship, and that the China problem has just become more troubling. That problem becomes more troubling because somebody who is now banned from the political process here in Australia, in fact, is no longer even in the country, paid for the now Labor leader to have a trip to China. Here is Chris Minns explaining, firstly, the trip and why it wasn't declared. The delegation was uh, from the Chinese government to New South Wales Labor and the Federal Labor Party for members from other states and territories to go to China and hear directly from China about the relationship. I didn't pay for any part of the trip. Um, but look, you know, uh, it was an important trip at the time. I wanted to find out exactly what happened with the in terms of the trading relationship and our relationship with China. I've never put my punches in relation to China. I've always been honest and independent in relation to it. And, um, you know, I'd encourage people to look at my record in relation to what I've said about China. But you see, this is the whole reason why we have talked about China's attempts to find a way into the system. Now, no one is suggesting that Chris Minns is officially bought off by China, but you see what they did. They went for somebody who was relatively low ranking, somebody who wasn't powerful. And if they pick a few of those, eventually one of them becomes powerful. He now becomes the alternative premier to Dominic Perrottet at the next election. That's why they take the interest that they currently do in local elections, in the upper house of state parliament. It's why ASIO said, be on the lookout for exactly stuff like this. And it's not just a New South Wales Labor Party problem, because guess who was there as well? Chris Bowen. Chris Bowen was there in the trip and had a photo in Red Square. Now, this photo is a fine little tourist moment, but it underlines the fundamental problem about closeness here. This bloke, of course, is going to be the climate change minister if each way Albo becomes prime minister. But they, of course, have a very strong position when it comes to renewable energy. Guess where the wind farms are built? Guess where they make the solar panels? In China. But I bet neither of those blokes were actually shown the parts of China where they make the aforementioned products. Because many of them are being built by slave labour, the Uyghurs, far flung off into a part of the country that no one is allowed to see. And I'm pretty sure they don't show when they're paying for the tourist trip for how awesome is China. This is a huge issue. And it's one that they will pretend doesn't exist and there's nothing to see here, but normal people can see. There's plenty to see here.